So I'm on some power line roads. Or we're on some power line roads. Now I'm just in stuck in, it's like 95 degrees out in the middle of summer and I'm stuck in a bog. No friggin' joke. And like the power line roads are all well compacted, fucking well used roads. Just having a nice little blaster day. And took the wrong turn. There's there's fucking big cracks and running water underneath all this tall grass. Let's see if we can find some. Well, hopefully we don't find it. Oh, shit. Are we dead yet? Oh, fuck. Oh, like there's a crack with some mud in it. There's straight up running water down here. Fuck this. Okay. Back on solid ground somewhere. What? Oh, more mud, more mud. it really wasn't that bad it was just surprising when I went through it the first time I'm like what the fuck there's water down here and then I uh, was going through that tall grass and I fell right into a crack with mud or not mud but it was actually water running water I didn't find it while I was recording of course oh shit there's neutral and I'm like whoa there's stuff here there's, there's wet stuff. It's all moist. The ground is all moist. And I fell into a moist crevasse. So, you know, that sucked. I gotta turn around. I guess I'll keep the camera on for a minute. See if we can find something to talk about. I just wanted to show you the moist crevasse I found. Oh, this little, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit made it. Now, unless I'm mistaken, unless I'm mistaken for Kevin Bacon, I think there is a creek crossing down here that I have on video before, but it's locked within a 38 minute clip, and I, or 28 minute, nearly 30 minute clip, and I don't think you want to watch 30 minute clip to see a little creek crossing. I don't even know what I'm going to do about a computer. I just I just decided to say fuck it. I'm going to try to live without a computer. Fuck, I may try to live without a phone. So far out in the country. With no modern electronics. Yeah, I gotta remember to turn here. So this is what I'm going to do to help, help re remember me to turn. That left no mark at all. But okay, you remind me to, to turn right there when we come back through. Now last time I did this tree crossing, I had a buddy that did it in front of me. And I thought he was going to kind of bitch out, but... But then like, fuck, if he did it, I gotta do it. I can't be the bitchy one. This is my ride. Oh, it seems like there's another trail around there. Last time I was here, uh, it smelled like weed. <laughs> I bet someone's growing weed around here. Uh, come on, creek crossing. We don't have to drive forever with the camera on because I promised it was right up here. Oh yeah, in case you're wondering, I got a freaking dirt knobbies on. I could probably do most of this in Supermoto trim, no problemo. But my pilot power is about wore out only after about 4,000 miles and I was kind of bummed about that. I thought I was hoping to get twice the mileage. So I'm trying to, my uh, knobbies are about 
brand new still so putting a few miles on them today save my supermoto tires when I do a strictly street ride or something like that or a wheelie practice day on the street now this was raging last time I came here and it doesn't look that bad wah, wah, wah. total fill total fill while you're out on bill I, I can even go slow across this it's so oh shit magical and mystical and wonderful magical and mystical and wonderful Look, I'm not wearing my waterproof boots <laughs> and that rock was like an inch under the ground I thought it was you know close enough I wouldn't wouldn't go past my soul like less than a half inch but I got all wet see now I'm gonna do it again just just for fun now, now it's just like fun Yep, magical and mystical and wonderful. God, that's too easy. Uh, it's about, I don't know, over a foot deep, like 18 inches. Last time I did it, and I was wearing my waterproof boots, and I still got my feet wet up over the cuffs. I got 14 inch boots. Magical and mystical and wonderful. 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 Okay, I'll keep you along for a little bit longer. If I remember right, there'll, there's an okay view of some snow capped mountains. Just a little bit up here. Magical and mystical and wonderful. Or am I mistaken? If I'm mistaken, you're going to have a long ride listening to me saying about nothing. Just for the fun of it, I guess. Oh, people can get some logs out of that slash pile. I think that's a good idea. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. What gear are we in? We're in wheelie gear. Until I hit a bump and it smacked me down. Totally be wrong though. And also, last time I was here, there's a second creek crossing up here that was way too much. Like, we did that one and it was like 18, 24 inches, but there's one up here that was even deeper looking and faster and wider. Like a moist crevasse full of water, flood water in the floodplain. Raging Creek that we didn't cross and had to turn around. Well, we'll see if we can find it again. We should be able to take this little power line road nearly to Canada. Canadian. Make sure their geese aren't trying to trespass over here. Border jump. Woo! Mm. Oh. Little flowers. Oh, is this it? No! I thought this was it for sure. Oh well, uh, catch you later.